Hello YouTube and welcome to my second devlog using Java and OpenGL with the LWJGL plugin. Uh, this week I kinda got some stuff done but I'm gonna break it down of what I did. So to start off the week I loaded up a 3D model so I went on Google and I downloaded an axe model just to test out and I put it on the display and it worked. Uh, after that I wanted to do some basic lighting for the axe. As you will be able to see it has more shine and reflectiveness to its model and after that didn't work the first time and I got an error I went back and found my error and fixed the problem now you can see that there is some more shine and reflectiveness to my model but the error was the least of my problems I'm gonna play the audio that I recorded that day to describe what happened and I will be right back hello everyone it is currently Tuesday and I was working on the game and as you guys will see maybe before this I'm not sure but I have a picture of my plan of what I want the game in general to be and one of the things on the paper is low poly so I wanted it to be low poly terrain and low poly water so I go on YouTube and I look up a low poly water tutorial to see what I'm gonna try and do and then I find Thin Matrix yeah, I found his tutorial and then I go on to uh, his description and I can download the code so I can look through it and then I downloaded the code and I can open it up really quick so I'm just gonna open it up right now and as you can see here is his engine I just have it under low poly terrain and this engine is extremely more complex than the engine I am currently using so as you can see when I run this it looks really really cool I mean this this is something that I, w I would want my game to be a part of or this to be a part of my game I said that backwards but we'll just ignore it but the terrain or just the engine is just so much different and I don't just want to copy his engine because one this engine is just made for this terrain I mean obviously I could change it and use it for a game but there's so much extra in here that I don't need that would make the engine more efficient and this is all just for generating terrain none of this is for anything else I could probably use this shaders right here for something else but all of this terrain stuff I wouldn't use I might be able to use some of this mat or the utils but I would not be able to use his whole engine but if we come down and we look at my engine there is almost no similarity so there are some just because it's OpenGL and it's going to be somewhat similar to setting up an engine but there is so much more to make it efficient in this engine so I have a couple of options I can either start over and learn with what he did in this engine I can just keep using my engine even though I feel like it's not going to be as successful or what I could do is what I was looking up was LWJGL3 I could try and use this the only thing really different in here from what I've used is how the display is created and I know texturing is a little bit different in LWJGL3 but the OpenGL part of it I think would be kind of uh, similar like these are all commands and uh, throughout OpenGL so I need to think about what I'm going to do because this engine is just a lot more advanced than the one that I was following in his tutorials and I was just updating as I went but this engine is much more complex and, and efficient the main reason I'm, a, I'm considering this is because this one is much more efficient than this one so I will get back to you guys probably tomorrow like I said it's Tuesday so I have a, I have a few days to make up all of the work I did but just to show you if I get out of here and I come into my game engine I did a lot of work throughout the, the week and here's what I have this is just using some of his textures but 
Like I updated the movement system, I used the skybox. I really like my movement system, so what I do is I have it based on where the mouse is. You can't see the mouse right now. Here I can turn it on. There it is. So the mouse is the where you look. So and then you can just turn with the mouse and then you can strafe with the arrow or the A and D key. So I like how I did that. I'm gonna use that with um whatever engine I end up making. I, I like the movement system I did. As you can see I already have the terrain done but I am going to need to uh, look into what engine I want to use. So I'll see you guys later tomorrow once I figure out what I'm doing and I'll show you what I have done then. I'll see you guys later. Alright everyone I am back but I just wanted to play that clip so that way you could see what I was contemplating. But I did decide I'm going to use LWJGL3 to create my game. Uh, as you can see right now, uh, creating the display was a little different. It was, it was difficult because I've never really uh, dealt with anything like that before. Obviously they do have the code on the website, but I didn't just want to use that code because I wanted to find a way to make mine more efficient, and I feel like I did. I broke it up into a couple of classes. And I have it based on a couple of methods, so I feel like the way I broke it up is pretty good. And, but the only downside is I did lose a bunch of work because I was almost done with the uh, rendering side of everything on my other engine. But I did want to take a couple of minutes to talk about my new upload schedule because I'm not going to be uploading daily anymore because I want to take more time to work on my game engine. And also, I want to focus on making my tutorials better. Uh, I want to include some more graphics for you guys to be able to understand the Java programming language better. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then a devlog on Saturday. So I think that's what I'm going to do. But that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe. Go follow me on Instagram and Twitter and go join my new Discord server. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.